Walt Disney used to talk about the red zone. He said, just when you think you are doing really great, when everybody's patting you on the back and saying, you've, you know, to, to coin a, a hypothetical situation, say, from 2007 till right now, you've really whizzed past, come up, and everybody's saying, wow, they like came out of nowhere over the last three years. Among other things, you've got a big target on your back right now. But also, that's when you're the most vulnerable. Because those things have worked so well, and so let's do those things, in, which may be or may not be exactly what you ought to do. We tend to hold on. And that's when you are the most vulnerable. The, the tendency at that point in time is to start playing the game unconsciously, not to lose. Instead of going full out, full out and play, continuing to play the game to win. How many of you have ever been through a high ropes program? Okay, fair number. So you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I used to be on the advisory board at Pecos River Learning Centers out in the Pecos, Val Pecos Valley, Pecos River Valley. And one of the events <coughs> was called the pole. Pole stands about 23 feet in the air. There are little um, boards like, you know, a tree fort. We used to climb up in the tree fort. <coughs> and you... Uh, Climb up, you get up on the top, there's a disc on the top the size of a small pizza. And about from here to the uh, podium away is a trapeze. And the task is really quite simple. You climb up the top of the pole, you make a 180 degree shift around the small disc, and you're guiding with three 10,000 pound test lines. So even if two of those broke, and none of them has ever broke, but even if two of them broke, and you stepped off into midair, the motion fall would be like three, four, five inches. So you take in the beautiful panoramic view <laughs> until you're facing the trapeze. And then your task is really quite simple. You merely leap from the top of the pole to the trapeze, knowing that the motion can fall is three, four, maybe five inches. I am here to personally assure you that even though intellectually you know the motion you can fall is four or five inches, the rest of you just doesn't know it. <laughs> and there's something about the configuration of the pole that no matter what the height, weight, gen, ender, g height, weight, gender, age, or anything else of the individual on top of the pole is, when you get to the top of the pole and your legs start to do the kind of the sewing machine look, the rest of the pole in sympathetic harmony kind of does the same thing. And the metaphor is, if you stay on top of the pole and you start playing the game not to lose, curiously enough, you end up losing. And what we have to do, to, and, and, and where I see you right now, you're sort of like in mid-leap. You're sort of like in, in mid-leap. And we can't play the game not to lose, we have to go full out and grab that trapeze. And, and, and a question I would ask you to reflect on is what activity, behavior, belief, habit do you have to let go of to get from where you are to where you want to go? What is it you have to let go of. And I don't know, nobody else knows, but you probably know exactly what that is. <laughs>